The Texas Senate gave initial approval to a bill that would create a state-level crime for entering the country illegally. Governor Abbott made border control a priority in what is now the third special legislative session today. Dallas County Commissioners pushed back on the governor's proposal, calling it an unfounded mandate that could cost the county millions of dollars to enforce. Could cost. Fox 4 Sean Rabb joins us to explain. Sean. Yeah could cost. Here's what. SB 11 would make it a fine, a punishment of one year in a county jail, Class A misdemeanor, if you're caught entering the country illegally. Now, that means counties and ostensibly Dallas County would have to pick up that tab for the folks in their jail. Legal costs, medical costs, all of that with no state dollars to support it. It looks like millions of dollars of unfunded mandates that you know, that they're heaping on the citizens of Dallas County again. One of those unfunded mandates, Senate Bill 11, filed in the special session that would make it a Class A misdemeanor to enter the state illegally. Our primary concern uh, with this bill is that Class A misdemeanors are served in county jails. Dallas County Legislative Liaison Charles Reed told commissioners, according to DPS figures, that charge could apply to as many as 72,000 people statewide. The way that the offense is structured right now, you do not have to witness the offense happening, meaning you, you could charge somebody with this offense in a, any county in Texas, not just a border county. And unless the language in the bill is changed, that could mean people here now, undocumented, could be arrested by local police. Commissioner Andrew Summerman wanted to know if that included people here illegally just trying to make a living. Could it be that we wind up with folks who are here trying to get a job, filling our jails, and as a result, we cannot put murderers and rapists in the jail? Is that possible? Reed responded. Yes, that's a possibility. Reed telling commissioners they've stressed to lawmakers the concern with the bill. We continue to point out that there's still not room at the end, even if you witness it at the border and there's still 72,000 people being charged with this offense. Once the border county jails fill up, they got to go somewhere and they can only move north and, and east from El Paso and north from Brownsville to our jails. It's just inevitable. So even if the measure does pass and become law, first of all, local law enforcement agencies would have to begin to make arrests. Now, they want the language, Dallas County Commissioners, Charles Reed, they want the language to be amended in that measure to say you must see the person entering illegal before you can arrest them. That would limit the number of people who might uh, be arrested under Senate Bill 11, but still, once border jails become overwhelmed, then that overflow would come to other jails north of the border. The special session resumes Thursday morning. All right, Sean, we should probably find out the county commission makeup is all five Democrats, so they might necessarily uh, line up all the time with the Republican-controlled state legislature. All right, Sean, thank you.